Hi folks, this is Halby. I just wanted to share something with you that um, I found via YouTube this morning, um, and I thought it was a great tool. I actually, I know this is nothing special, it's just a little picture I created in a few minutes, just playing around with it. Um, it's an online photo editor, or you, you can do what I've done here, which is just kind of messing around with some digital art, which is what I like to do. Anyway, I thought I'd point it out. Um, it is Sumo Paint, and the website for it is sumopaint.com, and I'll open it up here so you can take a look. We'll do a quick little digital thing. If my Firefox will open up. Do, 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 do. There we go, sumopaint.com. And it is very easy to open up an account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. You don't ask for a whole lot of personal information or anything, so it's kind of nice. Anyway, you just kind of open up the editor here. It'll automatically start with a certain size of a uh, blank document for you. It's working with layers just like Photoshop does, or uh, really any photo editor that's worth its weight. And there's our first layer. And you can adjust the size of it if you want, but I'm just choosing the standard layer. Let's start with a gradient. How's that? We'll do that. And you can tell that it sort of, I kind of like how it sort of gives you the final income or outcome so you know what you're looking at. So we'll just choose that start. And start a new layer here. Let's say we want to do a circle. And we'll choose a different gradient for it. Uh, that looks good. And if you hold your shift key and do this, you'll get a perfect circle. And once you're done with it, you can move it around wherever you want. There's also some other shapes here, like here's a star, uh, I choose a different gradient for that, um, choose that, that's good, oops, Doo. you can tell you can adjust it just by how you drag your mouse, so, and let's choose another gradient, we'll choose or another layer, we'll do another gradient, you can tell I'm just messing here, so I'm not real familiar with this program at all, I just started messing with it this morning, so let's just choose that, um, <laughs> and let's do our gradient again, and so yeah, it looks good, and let's just for fun turn this gradient into a 3D object. You go to filters, 3D effects, um, cylinder designer. How's that? Ooh, look, fancy cylinder. You can adjust the zoom, focal point, transparency, center scale. You can pull it in or push it out. You get into like a beaker, all sorts of stuff. And then once we're done, we can move that around too. Let's go back and move our, our, our little ball here. Have it kind of well. Actually, let's have it just like that. So you can see, in just a couple minutes, I I do something that's just kind of unique. You want to save it? And file, save to my Sumo account or to my computer. So you can save it to your desktop if you want. Let's just say I don't want to save that, but it, so you know, um, you can also open up um, photos from your computer. Uh, desktop projects. Let's choose. You know, I've got all kinds of weird crap in here. Just a picture of Bing Crosby, how's that? And from here we could manipulate this photo if we want brightness and contrast, kind of just like any other photo editor. This thing is not being real. So you can see, there's lots of messing up to do. Anyway, I just like to show it to you, sumopaint.com. Well worth it, it got free, and it's really a pretty, uh, pretty um, powerful photo editor. So if you are in the mood to play and you want some more software, uh, online free. There's also a Sumo Pro. I'm not sure exactly what it does because I haven't really looked, but uh, um, that is a paid-for thing. I think it's only like 20 bucks a year, which sounds very reasonable to me. Anyway, have fun. Bye.